Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today I am going to talk about the nitroprusside test. Uh, this is a specific test for sulfur or sulfhydryl containing amino acids. So we will see the definition of the test, principle of the test, procedures, results, their usage, merits, demerits, advantages and disadvantages of the test we will see. Like uh, other for other tests we are also having done the same things. So first uh, let us uh, know the basics of the nitroprusside test. Uh, this is a basic test, this is a biochemical test uh, where we are going to detect the free sulfhydryl group. Free sulfhydryl group means we are going to detect the SH group. Uh, this is a similar type of uh, alcohol type of groups where uh, O of OH uh, alcohol is replaced with the sulfur because sulfur and oxygen is in the same group. Uh, so this is also behaving like uh, alcohol only. So this is called as sulfhydryl group. If you will see our amino acids, we are having 20 amino acids. In that 20 amino acids, there are two amino acids which contain sulfur. So, 16 uh, which contains uh, terminal SH group. So, this is called as sulfhydryl group. And methionine which is going to contain sulfur in between of the chain. This is called as thioester sulfur. Uh, so, two different sulfur present in the amino acids and two different, uh, different type of sulfur. This uh, 16 is having uh, thio, I means uh, sulfhydryl group and this is thioester sulfur, sulfur. So, cysteine and methionine are the two amino acids which is having the sulfur, uh, but the SH group of methionine molecule is in between of the chain as a thioester linkage, which is very difficult to break because it is in between, the, so this is less reactive sulfur. And because of this sulfur, this is not very easily going to be detected by this test. So that's why it, this test is a specific for cysteine, not for methionine. However, both of the amino acid contains sulfur. Similarly, uh, when we are two cysteine uh, joints with the cysteine is going to join with cysteine, we are going to have cysteine. There we are having uh, this type of disulfide bond. There also uh, this test cannot detect this disulfide bond. Why it is cannot detect? Because this is a strong bond which cannot be very easily broken. So, this disulfide bond which is present in the cysteine cannot be detected by this nitroprusside test. So, this test is very specific only for cysteine amino acids. So, this is a specific test for cysteine as it is the only amino acid which is having the free SH group present in their structure. Now, if we will say uh, the test uh, is not very specific to proteins or amino acid as it cannot detect compounds like ketones. Uh, the test is a colored reaction because it is a colorimetric reaction, color production reaction, color it is going to give you a specific type of color uh, where amino, those amino acids which contain sulfhydryl groups reacts uh, with the nitroprusside reagent and gives us a red colored complex. So that red colored complex, presence of the red colored complex or the formation of red colored complex is the test identification marks for the presence of cysteine or sulfhydryl group. So this test you can diff use for the differentiation of cysteine with the cysteine as well as the differentiation between the cysteine with the methionine or any other amino acid. So the, what is the objective of this test is this test we can use for the detection of the presence of the amino acid cysteine in any protein or protein compound protein solutions. This test you can use for the differentiation between the amino acid of cysteine and cysteine then this test also can be used to presence of the detection of the cysteine in the urine sample or detection of the cysteinuria where cysteine comes into the urine of a patient. So for these purposes we can use this test. What is the exact principle of this test is? In this test uh, you know that uh, I have told you this is the basic test for the detection of the sulfide group. So wherever free sulfur atom will be present in the solution that there it will be going to give you the test. So, in any, any amino acid where sulfhydryl group will be there, first it is going to be degraded. So, uh, nitroprusside is a complex, uh, it is a compound that you can see it is a, this is the nitroprusside structure which is a, where ferrous uh, is going to be associated with six different bonds, uh, five uh, cyanide CN bonds will be there and one NO things will be there. So, it is an anion containing an octahedral ferrous center which is surrounded by five tightly bound cyanide groups and one NO group. So this is the uh, stru basic structure of nitroprusside. This nitroprusside molecules when combines with sulfur atom, it gives forms a violet or red colored complex. 
the action of this strong alkali because in this reaction we are also going to use a strong alkali which helps in the release of sulfur sulfhydryl group uh, which is present in this sulfur so when a, uh, we are going to use a strong alkali that helps releasing of this sh and this sh reacts with nitroprusside and ultimately gives us the violet colored complex so the sulfur then reacts with the nitroprusside and to form a red colored compound some protein might not give a positive reaction immediately in that case the solution should be heated for some more time which requires heat coagulation to release the sulfhydryl groups basically what are the what are our requirements in this test stage we require reagents and we require uh, some of the uh, means equipments so in the reagents we require 2% freshly prepared and sodium nitroprusside solutions we require a, a strong alkali that is concentrated sodium hydroxide we require sample i with the sample which you want to detect and then we require some of the materials like we require test tubes we require test tube stands we require pipettes and water bath because sometimes if color it does not appears you need require to heat them so uh, this is the basic uh, things uh, we are having nitroprusside nitroprusside is going to react with the cysteine in the presence of a strong alkali you can use sodium hydroxide you can use ammonium hydroxide but a strong alkali should be there because of this a strong al alkali this sh group will be released and al this sh will react with this nitroprusside and gives you a red color complex so this is the two different solutions this is the positive sol test this is the negative test so whenever red or violet color appears it is a positive simple positive test how we are going to perform this test what is the procedure of the test uh, first we are going to take 2 ml of amino acid solution of the test solution which you want to detect uh, then in that test tubes we are going to add half ml of freshly prepared sodium nitroprusside and mix thoroughly then we are going to add 0.5 ml of concentrated sodium hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide uh, so if positive result is not observed immediately by adding sodium hydroxide then you require to heat that solution for in the water bath for 2 minutes and then you are going to observe the color changes or color formation uh, any red color or violet color forms or it does not forms so uh, two types of results you can get it either you will get positive result or you will get ne negative result what is positive result a positive result in the nitroprusside test is the appearance of the red color or violet color complex so whenever this color appears it is going to detect with the presence of cysteine and negative appears means it uh, after the addition of sodium nitroprusside and sodium hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide if color does not appear or absence of a red colored solution it gives you information about the absence of cysteine how we are going to interpret it so uh, in the case of positive test red color or violet color will appear and that will give you information about the presence of cysteine in the negative test uh, we are having this red color or violet color uh, complex will not form so you will have a colorless solutions and that is the indication of the absence of cysteine the what is the use of this test uh, this nitroprusside test is an analytical test for the detection of cysteine and cysteine containing protein solutions this test can also be used for the diagnosis of cystinuria in the presence of cystine in the urine of a diseased person or this test it also helps in the detection of the compounds like keto acids or ketones in the blood and urine and helps in the determination of the ketonuria or ketonemia ketonuria means when ketone body presents in the urine and ketonemia means when it is present in the sufficient more than sufficient amount in the blood and uh, as ultimately it will come into the urine so ketonemia and results into the ketonuria and both when we are ketonemia plus ketonuria is, is equal to ketosis but if there are some limit, limitation of this test is this test does not gives you a positive result with methionine or cysteine as their sh group of methionine or sh group of cysteine is not freely available for the reaction they are uh, tightly associated with the thioester bond or disulfide bond so there it will not be reactive so it will not give you a positive test some protein might requires heating or heat coagulation test for the liberation of sh group in that that is the these are the limitation of these two tests so uh, roughly this is the uh, two, uh, all of about our the nitroprusside test or how you can detect the cysteine in any solutions so uh, on my channel uh, one of the information for you one of the my channel uh, thanks button has been activated by the youtube so if you want to uh, support our channel support us uh, you can click on the thanks button and you can uh, give whatever you want donation 
so uh, you can also follow me or my channel on different social platforms and uh, you can uh, write your comments you can write your suggestions uh, so hope you have understand it if you are not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it if you like the video press the like button uh, thank you very much have a nice day